Hello everyone, it's Anna Nisterova and Happy New Year! Happy 2023! Thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching my channel. If you've been doing it for quite some time, I'm very grateful for your interest and that you find my content interesting and useful for you. If you are new to my channel, I have not been recording many videos uh, about medical sales recently because I've been focusing more on my podcast and if you haven't seen it yet, please check it on my YouTube channel. You can also find it on all major podcasting platforms. But I thought I would record this video about medical device sales because that's the purpose of initial purpose of my channel and I will keep recording some videos as we go. And today I decided to start this year with answering a couple of questions that I've received over the holidays. And those questions are usually repeating questions. So that means that more than one person is interested to know the answer to them. And I will be happy to share with you that information. Before I continue, as always, I'm asking you, please subscribe to my channel, leave me your comments, leave me your questions. That's the sign for me that you are listening that you are interested in learning more from me. And it also helps me to create new content for you. For you. So the first question I'll be answering, I'll, I'll list all three and you'll know what I'm talking about. So the first question I keep getting is, can I get a medical sales position in Canada if I'm moving to Canada from somewhere else while I'm already a sales rep for a medical device company? Second question will be, educational requirements for medical sales roles in Canada. And the question number three is, what is the work culture in Canadian companies in medical device sales? So those are the three questions I'll be answering. So the first one is, if someone is already a sales rep somewhere around the world, but has an opportunity to move to Canada, which means that you already have the work permit, working visa, or any type of maybe PR card, so you are eligible to work, I think you will be able to transfer your skill set quite easily from the place you are to Canada, as long as you speak English or French fluently, which is a must, obviously, for this role. But I would say you most likely will have to start from the entry-level positions. The reason being that companies will most likely give priority to people with Canadian experience. And if you don't have any, it will be hard to reach the same level as you are right now in the company you're working for at the moment. So most likely the entry level position will be your choice. I would also suggest to go for any other position in the company, maybe in the marketing department, because sales positions are very competitive. Medical sales, especially specialized medical sales, surgical devices or implants, those are positions are very competitive and companies like to hire people with extensive experience, which you might have already, but you are missing on the Canadian experience. So in that case, what I would suggest is to educate yourself on Health Canada, Canadian health care system. If you don't know where to go for that, you can check masterclass that I've created, which is MSB, the, the link is below, medicalsalesbootcamp.ca or medicalsalesbootcamp.com. There's a short masterclass that kind of gives you an overview of the job and also a course that teaches you about Canadian healthcare. But there, there are also resources online where you can read about Canadian healthcare. That's important. And that's your goal and that's your mission to get yourself up to speed. Otherwise, you do not stand a chance against a Canadian applicant for the same position and same experience level. If you don't have the work permit to work in Canada, I wouldn't suggest to apply for sales roles because you will have to prove that you can work in Canada. You need to be on the ground. So the chances of getting in are very slim. That's my honest straightforward opinion. But you can find a way how to work through either internally through the company that you're working for or finding a different job in the marketing division and then transition to sales. Because companies rarely sponsor people for sales positions. I'm talking about the sponsorship for Visa. The second question is educational requirements. There's no specific degree that is required for medical sales in Canada. It can be any bachelor degree as a minimum requirement. So it can be anything from engineering, sciences, biology, chemistry, etc., all the way to business degrees. That's not a big issue. 
companies like to know that you have that level of education at first and then from what I've seen people usually take courses in Canada to either depending on your background if you're in a medical field or if you're in a science background so I would suggest to take extra courses to familiarize yourself with business aspect of the job and vice versa if you have a business degree I would suggest to go and take a few classes or courses related to physiology, anatomy, biology, etc. so you can understand those things better. But again, you don't have to have a special degree for it because some of the training will be provided by companies and they want to know that you have both and you understand both the business side and the science side, but there is no specific degree that you have to have for it. And again, if you want to learn more about the Canadian, specifically Canadian healthcare, Canadian medical device industry, medical sales bootcamp could be your option. Because lots of options you'll find online, they are adapted for the US market, not for Canadian market. And the third question, it was to describe working culture or work culture in the medical device company in Canada. Uh, it's a bit of an interesting question. I don't know how to describe the work culture specifically. But I would say in the medical sales and overall in the medical device field and in the medical device companies in Canada, there are a number of values that are very important. Values like ethics. Ethics is very important in this field <clears throat> and you can get into a lot of trouble if you do not follow ethical code. Also the respect, overall respect to your co-workers, to your customers, to patients, protection of patients information, health information. Lots of companies, they spend a lot of time on educating people how to protect that information because you are becoming a part of the clinical team in a way and you can have access to certain information that should be protected. So privacy policies play a big role, ethical policies play a big role and all types of compliance with regulatory bodies in Canada. They're all applied to the job, day-to-day -day job of the medical sales representative. I'd say, so the culture in a company is based on those principles, respect, compliance, and I would also say that it's a very competitive field, so competition between companies, between reps is there. However, respect to each other and prioritizing safety of the patient and the well-being of the patient is a number one goal. So if, I don't know how it works in other countries specifically, I know some examples and I know some stories where maybe ethics is not as prominent or ethical codes are not as strict in some ways. In Canada, that doesn't work because you have to respect your competitors, you have to respect your customers and you have to put the well-being of patients as the highest priority for everyone. I also find it's quite easy to get along with people in Canadian medical device companies. People are usually very friendly, helpful. Of course, it can vary from company to company. Some companies are a little bit more hands-on and micromanaging. Some companies are a little bit hands-off and giving people more freedom of action and freedom of running the business the way they want but in general i think canadian working culture is very comfortable to work with managers are respecting their employees and i find that there is not much um, difference in the way how you feel depending on where i on the on the ladder in the organization everyone prefers to have more of a team approach and everyone likes to work together. Again, that's my experience, but I work with a number of companies in Canada. And yes, there are some companies with specific cultures where you have to follow specific rules, but that's more of an exception than the rule in Canada. I hope I answered your questions. Please let me know if you have more questions and what other topics you'd like me to cover in my next video. And I'll see you in the next one. And again, Happy New Year!